गच्छामि With Porter Tent, I bow down and offer my reverential salutation at the lotus feet of Lord Buddha and seek his blessings upon humanity. First of all, let me offer my heartfelt respect and gratitude to all of you from the top of the Himalaya Ladakh. All the dear followers of Lord Buddha, as you are well aware, the Vesak day, the Buddha Purnima day, what we call is the thrice blessed day, the birth of the great Bodhisattva, the would-be Buddha, Prince Siddhartha, and the full, the great enlightenment day of the great Bodhisattva and the Mahaparinirvana of Lord Buddha. The birthday of the Buddha is not the ordinary birth. It is the birthday of light. It is the birth day of wisdom. It is the birth day of happiness. It is the birthday of liberation. Liberations from the will of existence, liberations from the suffering of samsara and attending the eternal, unconditional, inexhaustible, indestructible bliss of Nibbana. As you all know that humanity is going through an unprecedented <coughs> health crisis uncertainty, fear and worry caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. The followers of Buddha uh, can contribute uh, in, uh, in reducing or in overcoming the fear, the tensions, the uncertainty of life caused by the COVID-19 pandemics or the holy teachings of Buddha, how we can implement, imply the holy teachings of Buddha in this situation, in this crisis of COVID-19 pandemic. I believe if anyone sincerely and earnestly learn and practice the teachings of Buddha, it would definitely bring a great relief, relaxations, and freedom from fear, worries, and tensions from this COVID pandemics. Because <coughs> Lord Buddha very, very precisely and clearly teach this kind of situations. The whole teachings of the Buddha is, you know, based on these uh, two issues two points that there is a suffering in this world and how to overcome, how to free oneself from this suffering of the samsara is the heart of Buddha's teachings. Therefore, if, if anyone sincerely learn and practice the teachings of Buddha, it would definitely, without any doubt, will help the humanity 
to understand this crisis, these situations, and to how to overcome the uh, suffering caused by the COVID-19 pandemics. Let us apply the Four Noble Truth to this situation. Now, Buddha's, the very, very heart, uh, heart of Buddha's teachings is the Four Noble Truth. You know, as a car stand and move on four wheels, the entire Buddhism, the Buddhist teachings, uh, stand and move on this Four Noble Truth. What are the Four Noble Truth? The first Noble Truth is the Noble Truth of Suffering. Suffering. And at the moment, whole humanity is going through the suffering of suffering caused by the COVID-19 pandemics. And what is the cause of suffering? The, the second, second noble truth is the noble truth of the cause of suffering. And what is the cause of uh, the truth of suffering? We believe the cause of the suffering is really not very, very uh, ununderstandable or beyond our understanding. This suffering which we going we are going through is the result of our own karma. You know, uh, due to the excessive greed and desire, humanity have uh, exploited. Humanity have destroyed. Humanity has harmed the nature, the mother earth, you know, in which we live. Just to fulfill their greed, humanity have polluted the waters, uh, cut the trees, polluted the air, polluted this mother earth, and caused tremendous harm to uh, both this mother nature, mother earth, and the animals. The innocent animals. I there is no doubt about it. It is the result of human greed, human ignorance, human ego, and human desire. This is the cause of this uh, the suffering which you are going through. And what is the the third uh, the noble truth of uh, the cessation of suffering? that it is possible, it is possible for us to overcome this suffering. The third truth is the possibility to overcome. The last one is the noble truth of the path that leading to the cessation of suffering. And what is the uh, path leading to the cessation of suffering? Understanding our desire, understanding our greed, understanding our ignorance, by understanding this, reducing our greed, uh, our hatred, uh, our egotism, our you know clinging and attachment, etc., and returning to the normal life, the natural life, and live a simple life, simple life, contented life. Then this is this is the path. The Buddha summarized the Eight Noble Path in three ways, Shila, Samadhi, Panya. Following the moral precepts, code of conduct, rules and regulations, right? Respect, regards for all other human beings, other living beings, for the nature, for the air, for the water, for the mother earth, for trees, animals, everything, showing respect practicing contentment. Buddha have very beautifully mentioned in the in one of the discourse. Sabbe Sankara Anichati Yada Panyaya Pasati Atha Nivindanti Dukhe E Samago Visuddhya. All conditions are impermanent. When one sees this with wisdom one turns away from suffering. <clears throat> this is the path to purification. This is the path to liberation from suffering. Sabbe sankhara dukhati yada panyaya pasati 
अथ निबिंदी दुखे ए समो विशुद्ध ऑल कंडीशन आर अनसेटिस्फैक्टरी वेन वन सीज दिस विथ विजडम वन ट्रांस एवे फ्रॉम सफरिंग दिस इज द पार्ट टू फ्री वन सेल्फ फ्रॉम सफरिंग दिस इज द पार्ट टू प्यूरिफिकेशन दिस इज द पार्ट टू लिबरेशन फ्रॉम सफरिंग सबे दम्मा अनत्ति यदा पन्याय पसति अथ निबिंदति दुखे ए समो विशुद्धिया ऑल थिंग्स आर नॉट सेल्फ वेन वन सीज दिस विथ विजडम वन ट्रांस एवे फ्रॉम सफरिंग दिस इज द पार्ट टू प्यूरिफिकेशन दिस इज द पार्ट टू लिबरेशन दिस इज द पार्ट टू फ्री वन सेल्फ फ्रॉम सफरिंग Dear sincere followers of Lord Buddha, let us come together. Let us dedicate this Vesak celebrations, this Bodhisattva, this month Vesaka month, for the corona-free world. We Buddhists have a responsibility towards the suffering humanity. Buddha have very beautifully. very clearly have explained explain that <coughs> our own happiness our own peace our own well being depend heavily on how we care how we show compassion how we extend love compassion care respect for others so the whole humanity is one member the uh, one family the human family we are member of one human family let me read out you know uh one gatha from dhammapada dhammapada sukho buddhanang upado sukha sad dhamma desana sukha sangas samaggi samagganang tapo sukho Blessed is the birth of the Buddhas. Blessed is the enunciation of the sacred teachings. Blessed is the harmony in the orders, and blessed is the spiritual pursuit of united tutsika. Dear friends, let us come together. We are so fortunate, so fortunate uh, that we are blessed with the precious human life, and we are blessed with the opportunity. to see one said the unbelievable unbelievable suffering on the other side we are so fortunate to have the teaching of buddha to understand ourselves and how to free how to protect ourselves from this kind of pandemics and how to help other people yes friends come let us come together let us celebrate the vesak in a true sense true spirit you know not going for the others worldly things dedicate ourselves offer ourselves to the teachings let us absorb the teachings of the buddha let us become one with the teachings of the buddha and radiate the love and compassion and the light of wisdom towards all directions i i once again extend my heartiest uh, heartiest Vaisak greetings to all of you, Dr. Ashadip Kamle, Aman, Aman Kamle, Mrs. Kamle, and Mrs. Dr. Hash, uh, Ashadip Kamle, and everyone. Have a wonderful, wonderful Vaisak Day celebrations. May once again the light of Buddha shines brightly in every corner of the world, dispelling the darkness, ignorance. May this world once again become like heaven. may once again all human beings experience divine divine life here and now sabbitiyo vivachantu sabbaro go vinasato mate bhavantu antarayo sukhi digayuko bhava bhavatu sabba mangalam rakhantu sabba devata सदा सुथी भवंतुते